So this is the only here with the actor Stephanie Paul, Vladimir Burlakov, Kit Dale, Julia Dietze, Udo Kier. And my first question is, how are you doing? How am I doing? Yes. Um, I'm pretty good, actually. A little bit time zone weird, because I've been in four time zones in the last week. Because I went from Arizona, I live in California. Uh -huh. And I went Arizona, Las Vegas, LA, London, now Helsinki. Wow, cool. So I'm a little like, I'm a, I don't know whether it's like day or night, but... When did you arrive in Helsinki? Yesterday. Okay, cool. Yeah. At night? Um, yes, 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 yes. I landed at nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good because um, I have never been to Helsinki before. It's my first time and I see all the snow here and the sun. It's so much nicer uh, at the moment as in Berlin because in Berlin um, it's raining since I don't know, four, four weeks without a break and it's gray and here it's, it's nice. So I'm, I'm doing good. Ha have you lived in Russia as well? Yes, the first nine years of my life. I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm doing phenomenal. Um, to be brutally honest, I waited for this day since three years to see the product of our work. And there's the director. Come, Timo. Ni yeah. hao. I'm on my way. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. It's a nice cameo. Yeah, that was a nice photo so, bump, yeah, camera yeah. bump. <laughs> uh, how am I doing? As I came two days ago from Los Angeles, I still have the jet lag, and, uh, but I'm very excited to see tonight the first time the movie. Mm -hmm. and, so that's, and then after tomorrow I fly back to Los Angeles. Then uh, you are playing the role of the president in the movie mm -hmm. Iron Sky, The Coming Race. What can you tell me about this character? Um, well, originally the character, um, when I booked the first film, um, I was told that they were going to make me look like Sarah Palin. And I asked Timo, do I have to play Sarah Palin? And he said, no, just play a parody of presidents. So I studied some of the presidents and I thought that George W. Bush was funnier in his mannerism. So the character's sort of based on him physically and then just how I sort of felt she delivered the seriousness of who she was and how she, she takes herself far too seriously. Yeah. So it's, um, it's a fun character for me to play. You're playing the role of Sasha, so what can you tell me about this character? Well, uh, Sasha is a, um, he's a, let's say, clumsy Russian from Earth he, who happened to come to the moon because he tried to rescue all the people who were stuck there and so he went to the moon and um, because actually I don't want to, 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 to say a lot about, about the movie I shouldn't probably yeah, yeah. but um, he is into he's a mechanic so he's into the whole um, stuff with with ships he built his own ship obviously and uh, he gonna meet Obi mm -hmm. and the going to be friends. You're playing the role of Malcolm. What can you tell me about this character? Well, he's not the brightest, uh, <laughs> he's not the brightest person, but he's very fun, he's very brave, uh, he'll do anything for his friends, and he likes to have a good time. Very muscular as well. And he's very strong. Yeah. Much like you. Yes, yes, very similar. <laughs> You're playing the role of Renata in the movie Iron Renata Sky. Renata Mister. Yes, yes, I didn't want to pronounce that. <laughs> So, Nobody knows how to pronounce that. So what can you tell me about this character? Renate Richter is a huge fighter for humanity. Um, she has a very big heart and she believes always in the good of the people. And now her old version is kind of resignated. And there's a time where she kind of gave up on herself because she lost her big love. And I love it to play a character who believes in, who's, who's a big fighter for humanity because me as Julia I'm also a big fighter for humanity. So you are playing the role of Wolfgang and Hitler. What can you tell me about your role? Well that uh, you... I was in the first Iron Sky playing Wolfgang who was the kind of uh, leader on the moon planning a lot of attacks to America and things like that. And when uh, Timo told me to make that uh, he wants me to be the same character, but a little bit different, and we discussed 
who plays Adolf Hitler, the brother, who, uh, dinosaur's brother, <laughs> and we agreed that I will play it. And I liked the idea because there is one scene, if you know the movie, you have seen the movie, there is one scene where I have a dialogue with myself because I'm both person. Uh, then how was it like working with the Finnish director Timo Vorensola? Timo Vorensola. Yes. Um, he's cool to work with. I love Timo. Um, I really enjoy working with him. Um, he he's very he gets excited about everything, and and you get excited about everything, and so um, and he gives great direction and great feedback. So it's really easy to work with him. It was amazing, as I said, he was a, he's a, such a nice guy and he's a good director. Um, it was fun because I felt free uh, to do whatever I love to, of course, under, under his uh, direction. Uh, but um, it was amazing because um, I, never, I never had such a good, um, how you say, um, relationship with a director, like friends, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is a more fun then and more easy to work with. He was great. He was really professional. He knew I had uh, very little acting experience up until that point and he worked with me a lot so he helped a lot and he's a pleasure to be around. He's huge, he's massive, he's a big presence. You can hear his voice from a kilometre away so it was, it was really good for me to work with him. I love working with Timo because um, the first time Timo casted me was 2008 for an art director. It's such a long time ago, it's like eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. And then we did the whole shoot for the first Iron Sky in Germany and Australia, 2010-11. Then 2012 we traveled the whole world when the movie was coming out. And 2015 we did the sequel and now it's 2019. So he kind of feels like family to me now because I know him since, since such a long time. Yeah. And he's a very unique character because um, sometimes you see the heavy metal front singer like when he's on set and screaming and you're yeah. like, wow, okay, this man has power. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he's very, he has a huge heart and he's very straightforward. You always know what he thinks. Like um, he's always telling you the truth, mm -hmm. which is, I think, a wonderful characteristic. Yeah. And he knows exactly what he wants. So. Um, and I'm very deeply grateful that he actually believed in me that I can portray an old woman because the easy version would have been just to cast an old woman who looks like me and let yeah. me just play the young part. But he called me up and he was like, no, Julia, I believe in you that you could pull that off. And yeah, I'm just grateful for that. Well, uh, as I, you mean in general, because I made two or three films with him now. Oh, also okay. The Ark, uh, number three in China. Um, I like his energy and he's very precise what he he knows exactly what he wants and it's written already on the paper so he's it's good to work with him uh, Iron Sky is a very interesting movie like thematically uh, so how would you describe it to someone who doesn't know anything about it uh, the first one or the second one? Uh, the franchise. The fr I think. Okay, so the first movie is based um, around if the concept of the Nazis lost the war in uh, 1945 and moved to the dark side of the moon, based on some of the conspiracy theories, you know, yeah. around the Nazis um, then. And now in 2018, which we're not, but 19, they're coming back to take over the world, but that's the first film. And I think the second film is really based in the um, conspiracy theories of uh, that all the world leaders are somewhat alien, that there is an original alien race, you know, some people believe that they were built by the py um, pyramids, were built by the alien race. Yeah. Um, and that they live in the center of the earth which is hollow and you know and they're i guess the aliens with the lizard stuff you know <laughs> that what that's i mean it's it's pretty crazy stuff but it, there's some people out there that believe some of those conspiracy theories so it's super interesting to take that concept and then create dinosaurs and god knows what else it's <laughs> yeah. but it's a lot of fun yeah exactly what i meant by saying it in, it's interesting yes mm, it's very interesting well it's it's a crazy movie it's a it's totally crazy because if you have dinosaurs uh, on the moon it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 quite special right and it's sci-fi and it's also comedy um 
Yes, it's a sci-fi comedy crazy movie. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good description. Yeah. That's the that's a really hard thing. I usually say it's a sci-fi action comedy full of uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's a word? Conspiracies. Yeah. yeah. So I just I tell them look you got to kind of lose your mind just enjoy it because it's a it's a hell of a trip and there's going to be a lot of weird things going on but if you get past that point it's enjoyable i agree yeah. well that would be very simple you just, i would just say uh, adolf hitler rides on the dinosaurs on the moon and screams heil ihr mutterficker uh, that is enough i mean it is like just the idea that the nazis went to the moon and built their imperium at, on, uh, on the moon, that's already, I think, for if somebody would tell me that, I would go and see the film immediately. Then uh, I have a couple of short questions to get to know you a little bit better. So are you ready? Okay, I'll try. Uh, favorite color? Green. Uh, it's blue. Blue. Turquoise. Favorite food? Oh, uh, Indian. Uh, pasta. Oh, I'm gonna say pizza. Uh, what toppings? Margarita and pepperoni, depending on how my mood. <laughs> this might sound obscure, but it's watermelon, yeah. sushi, and I'm vegetarian, but I eat sometimes fish, so I cheat. Uh, favorite beverage or drink? Mm -hmm. Um, I have two. Can I have two? Yes, sure. Um, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc and vodka. It's a Moscow Mule. Sorry? It's a Moscow Mule. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a drink. I don't know if you know it. Uh, n not really, no. It's a vodka with a ginger beer oh, together. Sounds good. It's a very popular drink in Berlin. Kombucha. Oh. That's a weird one, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, drink about eight a day. Oh, okay. Yeah, like okay. Addictive. My favorite beverage actually Water, mm -hmm. rosé, and Guinness. Favorite type of music? Uh, I'm very eclectic, but I kind of like lounge, um, sort of uh, like Thievery Corporation, that kind of sound, you know, sort of background, and dance music, you know. Uh, techno. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't have a favorite type of music. I listen to like just a lot of classical stuff and a lot of things from the 80s and 70s I like. Oh. So, but cool. nothing particular. Bands, I'd say like Chili Peppers, Offspring, Guns N' Roses, that kind of stuff. Favorite type of music? I grew up with punk rock. I love reggae and dancehall. Now living in Berlin, I'm totally into underground techno, but I also love John Coltrane's jazz music, so it's hard to pick. Okay. That, I should say Lyra, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good selection. <laughs> All right, and favorite animal? Uh, um, I'd have to go panther. It's a hard one. Um, Maybe a lion? Favorite animal? Okay. <sighs> oh my god, I don't even know. I've never even thought of it. I'm gonna say a, a tiger. I'm gonna say a tiger, a cool animal. Yeah, everyone likes big cats, I guess. Yes. Okay, I love bears for some reason. Okay. But the funny thing is, for me, I always. Can I tell you something quickly too? Yeah, or yeah, does it, sure. the answer have to be quick? Uh, no, no. Okay. Questions so, so, are short, but. You can answer. Okay, so my favorite animal is kind of a bear, but I also like eagles. And I have a very crazy theory to eagles, because I divide people into ducks or eagles. Oh. Yeah, the ducks, they always stay in the safe lake, and they quack about the others yeah. behind their back, blah, 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 blah. They always uh, obey to rules, yeah. even to rules that don't make sense. Yeah, yeah. The eagles, they fly out high, they're they follow, brave. they're brave, they yeah. follow their dreams, they're not afraid. Sometimes it's a lonely journey, sometimes there's no security. The, the ducks always stay with a secure income, the eagles yeah. follow their dreams. Okay. And it's really interesting, like for example, if you come into a hotel lobby and it's 11 a.m. and breakfast is only till 11 a.m., yeah. if you meet a duck, they tell you breakfast is over. If you meet an eagle, they will find a solution and find oh, some stuff that is left and then that's yeah. why I always say eagle or duck mindset. Yeah, <laughs> I'm loving eagles now. I love eagles too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, then favorite uh, sport? Ooh, uh, it's not really a sport, but yoga. I like yoga. That's good. Um, yeah. Basketball. 
favorite sport? Uh, mixed martial arts, probably. I love dancing. I'm a professional dancer, but that's not really sport. Uh, it's okay. I was I was doing um, snowboard races when I was younger until I had a huge accident. Uh, I haven't been on a board since then, uh -huh. but I still love snow. Okay. I love surfing. I, yeah, I, it's I, it's hard. Like I'm also like I'm trained in mixed martial arts. Like wow. I love kung fu. Okay. And but I'm not sure if that's sport. Uh, well, I guess I guess. Kind of yeah. I guess they're making chess a sport as well. In, in oh yeah, that's a mind of. sport. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. chess. My father I'm always used to play chess with me. All right. But I always lost against him because I'm uh, <laughs> patience is not my biggest <laughs> character yeah. trait. Yeah. All right. And favorite uh, TV series. Ooh, I got addicted to Orange is the New Black at one stage, and then what was the other one? That family one, I can't remember. I'm terrible. I don't watch. I don't have a television. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. I watch everything online if I watch it online. Um, Breaking Bad. Game of Thrones. Favorite game? Any type of game? To be honest, I don't play any games. I don't have favorite game. Okay. Fair enough. I'm loving poker at the moment. Poker? So poker. Okay. Like poker, like a Texas hold of ah, poker. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I, I'm a little bit obsessed with that at the moment. That's why I'm playing a lot. And if I go like secondary, I would say uh, paintball. And favorite app? Favorite app? Yeah, for your phone or... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Favorite app? I guess Spotify, because I'm listening to a lot of music actually. Yeah. App. Ooh. <laughs> I spend a lot of time on Instagram, so I probably have to go with Instagram. Phone app. Here comes the cameo again. Timo! <laughs> no, yeah. this time I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, my favorite app. Actually, I have to admit Instagram. Uh, speaking of Instagram, uh, on your Instagram it says, "Don't dream your life, live your dreams." So live your dreams. Don't leave your dreams. Don't yeah. leave them behind. Live, live your them. dreams. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a great career as an actor uh, already. So, do you still have some dreams that you would like to fulfill? Oh yes, I have huge dreams. Um, I mean, I would love to have to shoot more international movies. Mm -hmm. That's a huge dream of mine. One big dream is to one day um, play a movie with Joaquin Phoenix, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my favorite actor. Okay. And I would love to do a movie with Kate Blanchett. She's yeah. my favorite female actor. And there's so many great directors out there which, with who I would love to work with. And then I also, if that whole thing works out, I have some idea for humanitarian work which I would love to do mm -hmm. um, for example I spent a lot of time in Los Angeles and I realized there's like nearly no shelter for homeless people yeah, yeah. so my dream was always like if I ever make it I want to build a homeless shelter wow. for them and called Lost Angels Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, you have a name ready yes <laughs> yeah I don't know it's like I always believe that if you visualize stuff the chances are higher that it might come true hopefully yeah. That's a good philosophy. <laughs> then I hear you're an expert in uh, jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Uh, so have you ever considered trying like MMA or, or UFC? Yes, yes. Originally, my plan was to originally fight in the, the UFC or do MMA. But after a while, I realized that I didn't want to make a profession out of getting punched in the head. Uh, it does a lot of damage to the brain, and I want to make sure that my brain is very healthy when my body probably isn't at some point. So I changed my mind. I thought acting was a much better uh, career to pursue heavily after, uh, after Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because my body is still quite sore from that. So I don't want to yeah. take any more damage than I, than I have to. Then uh, kind of an extra qu question. I read that you have made an appearance in Bold and Beautiful, which is a great, great <laughs> series in Finland. So what can you tell me about this? Oh, it was just a small character. I played a journalist, believe it or not, uh -huh. in the, in the okay. TV show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which year was it? Oh. I'm, hey, I'm a fan, kind of. No, also. we're probably talking maybe 10 years ago. So, yeah. Then um, you have been an actor for over uh, 50 years already. So is there a project or two that you would consider your highlights, your favorites? Well, there's a few. I mean, it would be strange as only one. And definitely 
Andy Warhol's Dracula and Frankenstein, and I made till, 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 ten films with Lars von Trier, with Wim Wenders, with Herzog, with Fassbinder. There's, I cannot say that. There, you know, and the bad films I did, I have forgot. Yeah. I don't want to occupy my brain with something bad. Yeah, I hear you have al also done uh, voice acting for some uh, video games. Yeah, uh, Call of Duty. Yes. Call of Duty. I did uh, the voice Scooby Doo. I yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, the game. I haven't seen the game. Then uh, last question, uh, what other projects do you have coming up or uh, going on? So my brother's a, a director now and uh, so we have a couple scripts that we've been working on together. They'll, they'll be a few years away from, from getting done. At the moment I'm in LA and I'm working on a, uh, an O1 visa so once that happens then I can start doing some work in LA. Otherwise I have my martial arts stuff that I'm continuously doing and um, and a lot of other things, like I'm trying to become a professional in poker, <laughs> yeah. paintball, snowboarding, wow. a lot of different stuff, but yeah, there's, there's good things happening, but they're just going to take time. Actually, it's German stuff. Yeah. Um, well, I have a few projects on, on Amazon, a few, a few series, like Beat. Uh -huh. uh, there is a series called Beat and Deutschland 83 and 86 and 89 is coming up. We're going to shoot it in September also for Amazon Prime and also a few movies for German television you probably don't know. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, there's a, there's a, actually it's a European project, it's called Black Sun. Uh -huh. um, it's in the process of being funded right now, so that would be my next one. Um, but I have a corporate business. So um, I'm not always acting. I sort of come out of retirement every now and again to do stuff like this for Timo and, and directors and producers that know my work. But yeah, I'm, uh, I get all suited up and go to work. Oh, wow. These days. Well, first I have eight films coming out. One Brazilian, one with, uh, I don't know if I told you that already, doing so many interviews, you repeat yourself. Yeah. One with Harvey Cattell and Stellan Skarsgård. One with, uh, two with Geraldine Chaplin. And one Belgian film shot in Croatia, one Luxembourg film. Then I have a film coming out with Chef Goldblum, which was in competition last year in Venice. And at the moment on my program is to take a rest Yes. for a couple of months and I have three projects which I would like to do and I, they are in development so I cannot talk about it and that's it, to live yeah. to live not on the moon but <laughs> to live in Palm Springs yeah. in the sunshine hey, I just um, I wrapped a movie it's called Berlin I Love You where I played alongside Helen Mirren and Mickey Rook and Kira Knightley Wow. But it, it's like similar to the ones um, Paris I Love You or New York I Love You where a lot of different directors um, put in like a short movie and then it and the whole the whole thing is like oh god I don't know how to say this and, yeah. and then uh, the it's result okay. is a feature film. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right. Very All chaotic right. description. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and yeah, I just did the European version of Dancing with the Stars which was beautiful so wow. we um, I was dancing for three months every day, eight to ten hours, uh -huh. and I loved it. Do you still do it? Yes, I still love dancing. Yeah. I would love to do a dance movie one day. <laughs> All right. All right. And I had another a cinema movie that premiered at last Berlinale. It's called Feierabend Beer, which means like after work beer. Yeah. Where I played the lead, and that just was in the theaters in October, November. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for this interview, and good luck with the movie. Thank you so much. I hope and it will be turn out good. <laughs> and good luck with your dreams as well. Thank you so much.